her bust sat a little lower than usual because I got mom titties. I'm just getting home from running all of my errands, getting my nails done, my feet. It's freezing cold outside and I still have on like the little sandal thingy that they give you at the nail shop. I had to go to two different Ulta's. Um, the information or like the details that I got for the shoot tomorrow said that I needed to cover the tattoo on my foot. And I got those details today, but um, so I had to like rush to go to Ulta to find this Derma Blend to cover my um, tattoo. I still need to spray my hair so that's straight, and I also need to buy pasties, which I'm gonna wake up early enough that I can do that tomorrow. I'll just stop by a Walmart. Um, and hopefully I don't have to go to more than one, but I should be able to just find pasties there I was thinking maybe I should go ahead and go to Target, but I'm <laughs> I just want to get in the bed um, But yeah, so I got this derma blend um, And this is actually for leg it's leg and body makeup so it's buildable liquid body foundation that um it's supposed to help on the back it says leg and body makeup provides buildable coverage from moderate to major concerns camouflages um varicose and other visible veins tattoos stretch marks scars age spots birthmarks and bruises so i'll probably try to show you guys how this stuff works it would help if i held the camera down here um i'll try to show you guys how this stuff works i got that and then the derma blend press powder setting powder I don't know but I'm gonna go in and test this out really quickly and get in the bed because I'm super tired and it's already getting close to 11 it'll it's gonna be an early morning day because I have to be there at 8 o'clock and which means I'm gonna for sure try to be there by 7:30 at least i was saying 7 15 but for sure by 7 30. i'll try to check in with you guys in the morning while i'm on my way <sighs> day one is done it was so much fun i had such a blast and okay i have got to show y'all how this makeup turned out on my feet i think i'm gonna try to do a tutorial with what is that stuff called uh, I don't know I'm drawing a blank but with the makeup that I got let me show y'all for all my foot fetish people holla at your girl no I'm just playing um but you can kind of see like where it's rubbed off and honestly it's much light I don't know it's kind of weird it kind of I feel like has this pinkish undertone um when I was putting it on in the bathroom upstairs it seemed much lighter than my skin tone but i don't know it worked out but i'm just tripping off i'm tripping out about how good it's stayed because i had on boots today tight boots too tight boots so i just knew this stuff was gonna rub off um and a couple of times like as it kind of started lighting up lighting lightening up lord i can't talk anyway as it started um smearing a little more and stuff like that you know i was asking like is this going to be a problem because they stressed it so badly in the details that I was sent but the who was it the assistant stylist she was like no it's okay I guess it dawned on me later on that it's like it's best for it to be as covered as possible because they're still going to retouch everything and then that just makes it easier for them um because I don't know the the tattoo on my foot is super dark but <sighs> it's been a day it is 12 30 something 12:43. we're about to ride to take kenneth to work and then i'm off to work hey guys checking in after a long day um i wanted to fill you guys in because i got some feedback from my photo shoot today and i wanted to read it to you i'm thinking about bleeping out who i said i was shooting with because this isn't 
shade or anything I'm not like putting anybody on blast I really genuinely want to read this to you all so that you have an idea typically I don't get feedback um, but this particular client gave me feedback after my test shoot as well as after my shoot today so I did the test shoot a couple of weeks ago casting basically for today booked the job they wanted me not only for today's shoot but for tomorrow's shoot which was going to be for another division um, at their company but then this was the email that I received after I got to work and again this is not shade or anything this is just me wanting to share with you guys because it's the reality of the situation okay and these are the things that you have to be prepared for as a model we love Kay's look from her hair to her crop however it's not going to work out due to her fit I have attached images to this email for you to see her energy was good but her waist was a tad boxy for for down shots her bust which is just like shots of your pants basically um her bust sat a little lower than usual because i got mom titties <laughs> and breasts were too large for some tops and she reads even shorter than other ladies i think due to her proportion unfortunately i have to release for her tomorrow or i have to release her for tomorrow now none of that is surprising to me first off your girl needs to get in the gym okay point blank period like if i'm gonna be real about my career and you know make these strides and like get to where i want to go I'm, I have to get in the gym and I have to find the time I have to figure it out so I'm not really surprised um, one of the images that they sent in particular and these are not excuses it's just again I'm not surprised by what they're saying because there were things that I noticed along like during my shoot um, one of the images that they sent over the pants they were one of the tightest pair that I had but that can't be an excuse just because it, they're all typically sample sizes so you should be a sample size model energy was good but her waist was a tad boxy so again the and obviously it's not just this one shot that they sent over they you know I'm sure saw this in some of the other images as well um, but I just know for that the particular pants for that image yes you, all you see is boxiness okay <laughs> her bust was a little lower than usual so at this particular e-commerce um, photo shoot they don't want you to wear a bra so you just have on pasties like I said your girl got mom titties okay so them babies ain't sitting up perky like they used to but understandable okay um what's, what else did it say and breasts were too large for some tops that doesn't surprise me people always say excuse me you're bustier than I thought all the time it doesn't matter like every shoot that i've been on for the most part people say you are bustier than i thought so one of the outfits that they ended up changing me out of they were going to just use for the other model because she doesn't have a whole lot up top you know and they just want certain looks to lay flat again it's just the name of the game and she reads even shorter than the other ladies that does not surprise me because the whole time i was shooting there's a tech guy to the left so he's at his camera or not camera he's at his computer doing his thing as the photographer is shooting the images are popping up and then the stylist is at another computer but it's facing towards me so I can see all of the images as they appear on the screen and there were a couple of times that I looked over and I literally thought like dang I look really short on there now I'm 5'8 that that's not very tall for modeling in general i mean people are making their way you know women are out here doing their thing at 5 8 so it's still a possibility but the reality is that it, that's not very tall so the proportions on top of the fact that i need to tone i think that would help and for well more ways than one right but the way that i read on camera could be much longer you know um and at the end of the day regardless like i said because i know that there is room for me in this industry and whether they make it or i have to make it for myself regardless i have to work out like <clears throat> i think i'll start off with the supplements because i do know that supplements and p90x you know if i have like my protein shakes and stuff like that um it makes a difference it will 
I was signed to another agency and at that time I was it was before babies more tone more fit but that came with doing P90X and having these particular supplements so um like I said this is no shade or anything I love the team they will see me again but I got this email um and I could have been down about it of course I forwarded it to my mom and I was telling her about it and you know mama bear she's like I hope you're okay you know how do you feel about it or whatnot and I think part of me had this little inkling of like dang that sucks you know but at the end of the day I'm just gonna use that as fuel to do what I have to do because like I said if I'm trying to make it to New York if I'm trying to eventually make it overseas if I'm eventually you know trying to do certain things then at the end of the day the industry that I am in I have to be fit I have to be toned again that's just the name of the game but I wanted to share that with you guys um so that just basically means that I will not I'm not invited back for tomorrow today was still a really good day it was a really long day it is 808 I have some things I need to do around here I guess I will close out and just say you have to have a backbone you have to be thick skinned to be in this industry you know there are certain things that you can fix that's another reason why I'm just using this as fuel because the feedback that the feedback that they gave was on things that really I can work on. I mean, working out can help in all areas. Um, my energy was great. They loved me. Regardless, I made some good connections with people there. I exchanged some information with people there. And like I said, it's not the last time that they will see me. But I just want to, um, you know, remind any aspiring models, any aspiring <laughs> models out there to just keep pushing and don't let that kind of stuff get you down it comes with the territory like you have to be okay with feedback good or bad you know but don't let it get you down again just use it as fuel to continue to you know push you in the direction that you want to be pushed in thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i don't know what's coming next week but y'all get in the video okay thank you make sure you like subscribe comment tell your friends about me um because you know your girl might blow up on YouTube, then I ain't gotta worry about none of this other stuff. <laughs> then I can eat all the donuts, all the vegan donuts I want to.